What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're doing the other side of the trade that we did yesterday Ben Simmons Boston Celtics rebuild of course before we go any further into the explanation on why we're doing this and what's going on Why is this even a video definitely go ahead and leave that like button and subscribe if you haven't already it only takes two seconds of your time And it's greatly greatly appreciated and it helps out a lot But basically the moral of the story is apparently there was a report from shams by the way Which is a very reliable source most of the time Ben Simmons or the Celtics are interested in trading for Ben Simmons And then something else was said that the 76ers wouldn't give up Ben Simmons to Boston unless if Jalen Brown was included in the trade which has led us to do this kind of weird thing where we did a Jalen Brown 76ers rebuild yesterday and now we're doing a Ben Simmons Celtics rebuild today so uh also in 2k this is what I did obviously this is not the trade that would happen in real life if this were to even happen which I don't think it will by the way but Jalen Brown for Ben Simmons straight up and then I kind of left it open for a debate in the comments if you guys wanted to go and talk about it on who should give up more I think most of you were saying that uh Philly should give up more obviously I kind of agree with that uh so ben simmons obviously in boston would be cool but i don't know how boston would feel about giving up jalen brown i wouldn't personally i don't think it makes you much better but who am I? I don't know. I'm just some guy on 2K. So regardless, this is what it looks like now. So Jason Tatum and Ben Simmons. And after that, it's kind of a huge fall off. We definitely need to make some changes on this roster. There's a lot more construction that needs to go about this. I would say that yesterday when I did the 76 rebuild, we looked a lot more. Uh, we looked a, we looked better built than the Celtics team did after the trade. So uh, we are definitely have our work cut out for us today. So let's go ahead and celebrate this first season, of course, like we usually do. Not going to do anything. We're just going to kind of see how this team... Uh, performs and hopefully somehow some way we find a way to sneak it in the postseason and then we're gonna have to obviously make some more trades because obviously I love Ben Simmons and Jason Tatum pairing but other than that it's just kind of weird everywhere Marcus Mars he listed at point guard right now is that why he's not in the starting five because why is Josh Richardson starting yeah let's move Mark Smart to shooting guard that way we have Mark Smart and Dennis Schroeder in the starting five that makes more sense okay now I feel good let's go ahead now similar to the end of the regular season let's see how this goes now that Ben Simmons is in Boston playing with Jason Tatum additionally today's video is sponsored by prize picks which is a DFS player props app that's matching up to a hundred dollar deposit when you use my code crushables let me show you Price Picks is a DFS app where you're literally facing no one other than the numbers. You're just facing the projections. Let me show you some of my past entries. So on this one, I decided to do a power play where I decided to bet the over on Rudy Gobert and Harrison Barnes. The power play was able to three times my money and Rudy Gobert and Harrison Barnes were both able to hit, which mounted me to $150. On this one, I did a flex play with LaMelo, Fred VanVleet, Joe Harris, and Gordon Hayward. Unfortunately, Joe Harris was only like three points off he literally hit one of his threes i would walk away with a hundred dollars so unfortunate but that's just what happens but i didn't walk away with nothing as i was still able to win 32 dollars after only betting 21 so i didn't walk away with nothing so you can decide whether or not you want to do flex plays or power plays feel free to use my link in the description of course you can always ask me on twitter if you have any questions and use my code crushables when you sign up so season one comes to an and literally similar to yesterday Juan Bede wins mvp the very first season mobley is your rookie of the year on the cleveland cavaliers drum and six man yon defense player max is your most approved and quinn snyder is your coach of the year so yeah that's good for philadelphia but obviously we're not philly today we're boston so we got more work to do so just like that no jason tatum no ben simmons or anything well all defensive teams nope none of the none of that's happening okay so here we are uh going up against the atlanta hawks in the first round of philadelphia is going up against milwaukee so looking at the player stats we have 26 points from jason tatum 18 points from ben simmons 17 from schroeder 15 from mal horford and 10 points from Robert Williams and nine points from Marcus Smart. So we're going to go ahead and uh, see what we can do against Atlanta. I really don't expect to do anything this year, to be honest with you. I guess crazier things have happened, but this team just isn't built for anything yet, I would say. So let's go ahead and just simply current around against Atlanta. And, you know, if we win, we win. And we did. Just like that, we're able to beat Atlanta. And the Miami Heat upset the eighth seeded, or the eighth seeded Miami Heat upset the first seeded Brooklyn Nets. Good for them. Now we have the New York Knicks and the 76ers on the other side of the bracket. Uh, Jalen Brown, Joel Embiid pairing siding, obviously. And then we get the AFC to Miami Heat, who just upset the Nets. So this could go either way. So many current round, and we are going to sweep them. And in the very first season, we get Boston versus Philly. We did not get this yesterday in the first season, anyway. We got it. Um, I won't spoil it too much if you haven't seen it yesterday's video. But Schroeder, Mark Smart, Ben Simmons, Tatum, Robert Williams, Al Horford versus Maxi, Jalen Brown, Danny Green, Tobias Harris, Joel Embiid. I would say Philadelphia is probably built a little bit better than us. So I 
wouldn't be shocked if they beat us here. But hey, it would be entertaining to definitely watch this go down if it were to happen. So many current round. And wow, we still beat them. We beat them in six games. That is a absolute W. We haven't even done anything yet. Al Horford's absolutely out here. I guess Al Horford's been known to be the, I don't know. He's known to give Joel Embiid problems before. But still, 16 points in the playoffs, though. We'll take it. Uh, Al Horford, obviously amazing so far. Somebody come around against New Orleans, and we come up short. We lose in six. But we have more work to do. I was not even expecting to make it to the NBA Finals, but we did. So I feel pretty good going forward. So let's go to the draft lottery, and let's go ahead and see what changes we need to make. I think there's definitely a certain guy I have in mind that I don't trade for all that often, and I kind of like him at the point guard spot because our point guard's kind of a gaping hole right now. Dennis is going to be a free agent. He was only on a one-year deal, so we're not going to be able to resign him, at least in 2K. Not sure how that's going to work in real life for Boston but uh because I don't know maybe Schroeder would take a pay cut to stay with Boston I don't know probably not because he was looking to get paid and he obviously screwed that up as we all know but we're not too worried about Schroeder obviously he'll be gone so uh who am I thinking of though well he's a San Antonio Spur and it's DeJounte Murray I'm not really sure how available he is I've heard trade rumors or we've heard trade rumors about him for quite some time so if he were to open up I definitely wouldn't mind having him in Boston I feel like that would be a great addition and just be more defense on the team Jason Tatum Ben Simmons Jante Murray sounds like a team that can lock anyone up and we could keep Marcus Smart potentially as well so that is a lot of defenders on the perimeter that I think could be like and Robert Williams down low so there's a lot we could work with here but obviously who are we going to trade though to match that salary is the question so I'm not really sure if my dream scenario is going to all go down that well so let's go ahead and kind of look I'm not sure Jante Murray will be the guy we get but he is somebody I am thinking about we can't make any kind of Jante Murray trade until after the draft just because we don't really have the assets in order to get it to go down right now so we're going to wait a little bit for a second we're going to go ahead and draft Max Christie here though and we also had a second round pick it looks like a very late one might I add you but uh, we'll go ahead and take uh, probably Tavion Kinsey here and we'll feel pretty good about that going forward we have two solid guys come out of the draft for us rookie signing uh we already went over that i don't know why i clicked that again player options al horford i'm actually going to accept it i'm also going to accept all of these i think there's going to be a lot easier to just trade away other than just relying on free agency just because free agency obviously is going to be like pretty thin for us just because we're not gonna have money anyway so we might as well just keep the salary that we have and trade it away if we can so um if not they're on expiring deals so it's not the big of a deal they'll just play this year for us and they'll be gone after this year so i see jay sean tate i see jeremy lamb out here i see some solid guys but looking at what we got right now so obviously Peyton pritchard is our point guard uh but definitely want to change that mark smart josh richardson and tavion kenzie we have ben simmons and may smith langford and then tatum al horford wancho so uh al horford just played very good for us obviously but he's gonna go up in uh overall or he's gonna go down in overall i should say because his age in this game robert williams uh never seems to develop on this game which is really annoying so not really sure if i should tweak with it just because i feel like he could develop into something in the future obviously it just never really changes but uh like i mentioned earlier i am still gonna try to go for Dejounte murray i really do want to try to put Dejounte murray with these two guys and potentially try to keep our whole starting five with a bunch of defense in it just because i think that'd be entertaining as hell and John T. Murray like I said has been part of trade emerge for quite some time so if I can convince the Spurs to give me to John T. Murray that is what I want to do so um what could I you know throw in here to make this work so we have Wancho salary it looks like we have Grant Williams salary that we could throw in here who's a young player um actually I think Grant Williams has been playing pretty decently for Boston this year as well which makes him kind of uh you know a little bit more attractive to a rebuilding team so Naismith as well maybe might be somebody they'd be interested in but Wancho Grant Williams, Romeo Langford, and let's say like a future 2025 pick. Would that get it done for DeJounte Murray? They don't agree. Okay, what if I also gave you maybe our second round pick and Tavion Kinsey they still don't agree wow okay so Jonathan Murray's gonna be a little bit harder than I thought it would be to get him so what about Naismith they still don't agree and I'll go ahead and throw in so let's say we throw in 2023 and 2025 and they still don't agree so just like that we're giving up I don't know if I want to take Max Christie in this trade okay Kinsey Wow, I did not expect Jonathan Murray to be this hard to get. Holy crap, 20 points per game. San Antonio is just not budging. I want to give up to Jonathan Murray away. So, definitely was not expecting that. Grant Williams, Wancho. Okay, well, um, wow. Okay, well, what if we took... Let's see. We're going to have to... Wancho Kinsey. We're still going to need $6 million in this. So, Grant Williams is obviously going to be have to be a part of this trade. And then let's throw Naismith in there. So all this for him. No, they don't agree. And I'll throw in this pick. 
They still don't agree, man. Damn, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought DeJounte Murray would be easy to get, but no, that's not the case at all. If we can't get DeJounte Murray, can we get Fred Van Vliet from the Toronto Raptors, which is a team uh, that might be selling um, in 2K and real, or not in real life, in 2K, which they are. So, Naismith, Christy, Josh Richardson, a 2025 pick for Fred Van Vliet. Let's see if they agree. And just like that, we get Fred Van Vliet instead to be our point guard. So, I guess we have Fred Van Vliet instead of DeJounte Murray. Ideally, I wanted DeJounte Murray, but it just wasn't going to happen. So, we gave up some depth and we got Fred Van Vliet. I feel pretty good about that. So, Marcus Smart, Fred Van Vliet, and then Ben Simmons, of course. Uh, Jason Tatum Wancho, and then we have Al Horford and Robert Williams at the center spot. So I feel good about our center spot. I feel good about our power forward spot. Um, definitely, you know, wouldn't mind an upgrade at, you know, the backup spots and as far as the wings are concerned. So I see like Jeremy Lamb out here. I see DeLon Wright. I see any of these guys would be a huge upgrade. So Jay Sean Tate only wanting a million dollars is going to be a huge deal just because for some reason Houston waived him. Uh, so I'll take advantage of that. Jay Sean Tate, welcome to the team. And I think we could still sign Jeremy Lamb, which we could. So Jeremy land we're gonna also bring in so just like that uh i think we had a pretty good off season so we bring in two nice additions off the bench and jeremy lamb and jay sean tate we have jason tatum wancho al horford rob williams and we're bringing fred van vliet uh one thing i do want to make sure of though real quick is if uh fred van vliet's peak end age is not like crazy dumb just because it usually is so it is at 29 i'm gonna move it to like uh 33 we'll go ahead and have it be like 33 so just like that, Fred Van Vliet should be good for us for a while. So now I have Ben Simmons, Jason Tatum, Fred Van Vliet, Al Horford, Robert Williams. So is this championship material? Not sure. But uh, like I said, I really wanted to join Tim Murray. It just was not going to happen. Uh, San Antonio was just not about it. I would have had to give up like a whole arm and a leg to get him, which I kind of respect. Like I get it. Jeremy Lamb or uh, not Jeremy Lamb. John Tim Murray is a solid player. I just was not expecting to cost that much, at least in 2K. So respect for San Antonio not wanting to give him up, I guess. But let's go ahead and see what we got uh, as far as our rotation is concerned. So now that we have things kind of built out together, this is what our new uh, rotation looks like. So Fred Van Vliet, Marcus Smart, Ben Simmons, Jason Tatum, Al Horford, Robert Williams, Jay Sean Tate, Peyton Pritchard, and Wancho Hernan Gomez. So, I mean, I feel pretty good. We're a four and a half star balance system. I feel like a defense we could be pretty good too. Yeah, we're a four star defense. I'm like, there's a lot of good defenders on this team. So, we should be able to lock up one through five. Uh, I don't know about lock up, but we should be able to defend one through five. So I feel good. We're going to go ahead and sum it to the end of the second season. We made the new addition of Fred Van Vliet. Hopefully that's a big one. And we'll go ahead and see how this team performs. Wanted DeJounte Murray, but we settled on Fred Van Vliet. I think it's fine. I think we'll be a good team in the East. So this year, Luka Doncic wins MVP. Chell Holmgren wins Rookie of the Year for the Houston Rockets. Robert Williams is your sixth man for us, uh, averaging two blocks per game off the bench, 10 boards or 10 points and nine rebounds. So we'd love to see that. Yon defensive player and Jonathan Kamenga is your most approved. Nate McMillan wins Coach of the Year. And here's your executive. So here's your NBA first team, Luka, Stephen Curry, Giannis, LeBron, or LeBron, Jimmy Butler, Nikola Jokic, All NBA second team, Shea, Russell, Kevin Durant. It looks like we have Jason Tatum making it. W, 30 points per game for him, 44% from the three. And then here is your All NBA third team, All Defense first team, All Defense second team with Jalen Brown making it. So if we go ahead and look at the bracket real quick, we got Boston and Charlotte, and we got Philadelphia, Milwaukee, Brooklyn, and Atlanta, of course, are waiting on their opponents. So let's go ahead and look at the player stats. We got 30 from Jason Tatum, 19 from Fred Vliet. So I would say a little bit of pressure was taken off Jason Tatum. W Ben Simmons, 14 points, 12 points from Al Horford, and then 11 from Rob Williams, 10 points from Jay Sean Tate, and 8 from Peyton Pritchard. So here we go, man. We get to play the Charlotte Hornets, which obviously, very entertaining team in real life to watch. LaMelo, Terry Rozier, Gordon Hayward, Miles Bridges, Mason Plumley, and Mr. P.J. Washington. Let's go ahead and see. We got Miami and Cleveland joining us. Of course, Miami upset Brooklyn in their first round last year, but here we go against the Charlotte Hornets. So many current round, and we are going to beat them in five. And just like that, Miami does it again they end up upsetting the brooklyn nets and beating them in seven okay now we get the atlanta hawks which is a team we beat last year in the first round was not expecting it but hey we did so now we have philly at miami and atlanta and boston let's go ahead and see what happens so many current round and we go ahead and beat the atlanta hawks and now once again we get a boston Celtics versus Philadelphia 76er series. So let's go ahead and look what we got. Maxi, Jalen Brown, Matisse Stiebel, Tobias Harris, Joel Embiid, Frickin' Korkmaz, Jake Milton, Seth Curry, Tristan Thompson, and George's Nank. So 
I feel like we should be able to beat this team. Let's see what happens. Game one, we're up one to zero. Good start to things. Thir uh, 36 points from Fred Van Vliet, 25 from Mr. Tatum. Game two, we're up two to zero. Game three, two to one. All right. Uh, can we not let them come back, you know, like that? And we beat them in six. Just like that, we're back in the NBA Finals. And look who it is. The New Orleans Pelk is a team that always finds a way to upset me. So here we go. Uh, Devontae Graham, Nikhil Alexander Walker, Ingram, Zion, Valanchunas, Dennis Schroeder. Even Dennis Schroeder went over to New Orleans, man. Come on. All right. Here we go. Game one. Let's see what happens. They're up one to zero. No surprise there. 34 points from Jason Tatum. Game two, we're up, uh, or we even it up. 41 points from Mr. Tatum. Awesome, 21 and 10. All right, here we go. Game three, we're up two to one. Game four, uh, nope, it is an even series. Can we go up three to two? Yes, we can. Just like that, it is a game six coming up. New Orleans versus Boston. What is going to happen? So many current round against New Orleans, and we are going to... Looks like we're going to go ahead and take care of our championship. Uh, actually, somewhat of a close game. 124, 130, 15. Yeah, it looks like, you know, we kind of uh, definitely, we kind of took this one for sure. But uh, I haven't even been recording that long. But I don't want to go too long in this video just because obviously I don't expect this to even happen in real life. Uh, this was kind of just a, you know, weird video. So um, I might jump in here and get some gameplay. I know it's cringe sometimes, but we're going to, we're going to, we're going to watch me play 2K for a bit here. Now, if this was a close game, I would actually just sit back and watch it because I had that suggested to me by uh, B in the comments. But uh, I just uh, I don't I don't know what I just did, by the way. I was kind of just talking and just kind of definitely just threw it to the opposing team. But it's OK. So here we go. That was the first part of the cringe you will see in my gameplay. But this time we got a good play roll into the basket with Robert Williams, 132 to 121. We're still up like 12. So we're good or 11, I guess, if I can do math correctly. So here we go. Dennis Schroeder, you know, you didn't want to resign with us. I get it. But you didn't have to go to the most OP team in the game. Zion was absolutely under the basket and Tatum was like sitting out of bounds. So that was an easy basket for them. All right. So we're only up nine right now. We got to make sure we don't let New Orleans find a way to, you know, find a way to scramble back in this. But they just are letting me do this pick and roll on them all day. I will take it, man. There's only one thing I can do in this game. That's some pick and roll. Everything else is just kind of not there. So if you can take out the pick and roll from me, you might win. So here we go. Just, uh, you know, Throwing that out there for you guys that might play me in 2K in the future if that ever happens. Not sure if it would, but hey, you never know. Brandon Ingram, Ben Simmons. Okay, we got to play good defense. Okay, we just left Zion wide open in the paint. Fair enough. Okay, we were trying to double team Brandon Ingram, I guess. Zion was wide open under the basket. It's all good. Once again, we just got we got a response. So here we go. Jason Tatum, Fred Van Vliet, pick and roll again. They're not going to be able to guard it. Fred Van Vliet to the basket, 136 to 125. It is broken. Yes, I'm playing on like all-stars, so don't make don't make Make fun of me all right and i foul for no reason i don't know why i was trying to get aggressive there trying to make some kind of highlight play showed her to the free throw line makes the first one can he make the second one minute 24 left on the clock and he is going to sink it okay um here we go give me fred van vliet and i'm gonna give this ball to mr tatum i'm gonna let him run the offense here all right um, give me another screen. I'm going to try to just kidding. It's not going to work. I was going to try to shoot a three. Give me another one. That was a terrible screen. Give me another one. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. I was too early with that. Damn. Okay. I was trying to do some kind of crazy step back fade away, but it didn't work. All right. Zion to the basket. We play decent defense on it, but he gets the offensive board. All right. We're only up seven. We got to chill. We're uh, kind of selling here. All right. They're going to, are they going to foul me? No, they're not. Okay. So no intentional foul game yet. They're going to go ahead though. And maybe let me drive the bat. Okay. Jason Tatum is wide open on the perimeter. You can't do that. Come on, baby. Let's go. Just like that. Tatum three-pointer sends new orleans to a timeout that's what we needed fallon is on the inbounds gonna toss it over to dennis schroeder they're gonna get a screen from never mind he doesn't want it all right what are they they're gonna throw it to zion that's basically been their whole offense no wonder why this game or this team is so damn op all they do is throw it to zion down low what are you supposed to do about that all right are they going to foul me? No, they're not. Okay, so I kind of hope they play aggressive D again because I kind of want to get somebody wide open on the perimeter like last time because that was honestly a W. Could have thrown it to Robert Williams there, but I'm trying to get like 
Let me let me splash this over Zion real quick. Can I do that? Is that gonna work? Nah, damn. Okay, I was trying to get a little fancy there, but we're up eight, so we're chilling. Uh, Vaughn Valanciunas wide open. He's gonna shoot the three. He's gonna miss it, and just like that, that should be all she wrote, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said yesterday, we did the Jalen Brown Philadelphia 76er side of things. So if you're interested in seeing that, then definitely go ahead and head down there and watch it. It'd be greatly appreciated. But other than that, guys, tomorrow we'll probably be back with some more super realistic rebuilds but for now this is crushables enjoy the ch championship celebration if you decide to stick around i'm saying peace Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.